Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2017 slot 1 DILR is about a matrix. It says that in a square layout of size 5 by 5, 25 equal sized square platforms of different heights are built. The heights and meters of these platforms are shown in this matrix. It also says that individuals of all of same height are seated on these platforms. We say an individual A can reach B if the following conditions are met. They are in the same row or column. A is at a lower height than B. So a person can reach like this, but a person like this cannot reach the other person. If there is or are any individuals between A and B, such individuals must be at a height lower than that of A. Suppose this person is, has to reach a higher person and there is another person in between. So the person can go and reach like this. So this is a permissible thing. But if let's say a person has to reach here and there is a person like this at a uh, higher height, so the person cannot reach like this. Suppose a person has to go from here and then here. So the person cannot go like this. Or uh, if let's say a person has to go like this, is not possible. So these things are not possible. A person can go direct if it is going from uh, adjacent person or if one has to go low and go high, the person can reach that individual. Right. So these are the permissible things. Now, based on this, we need to answer the questions and they have given the example also. Let's say uh, individual seated at height 8 on third row and second column. Okay, so they have given the third row and second column. This person they are talking about. This person can be reached by four individuals. He can be reached by the individual on his left. So seven can go up. Okay, five can go up. Uh, and one cannot go up because five will come in between. Nine cannot go down. Four can go up and reach eight. Six can go down and come up to reach eight. Okay, so these are the people who can reach there. Rows and layouts are numbered from top to bottom and columns are numbered from left to right. Okay, so that is the thing given to us. Let us now solve the questions. How many individuals in this layout can be reached by just one individual? So before we solve any of the questions, one basic logic that you must keep in mind is if a person has a high height, right? it's a high height, so it will have more number of people reaching out. If a person is at low height, it will have lesser people reaching that person. Okay, so that's a general logic, not uh, applicable because it is relative to its neighbors and its position also. Uh, now, the thing is, first of all, we can eliminate the people who have height 1. No one will be able to reach them. Similarly, if a person has height 9, obviously there will be all the people's uh, people in the uh, neighborhood will be able to reach them. So, we can eliminate these for uh, considering this question. Now we will look at these persons individually. Let's say this person 6 can be reached by 1, can be reached by 2. So 2 can reach by going to 1 and then 6. So 6 is not that person. Let's come to 2. 2 can be reached by 1 and uh, that is the only person who can reach 2. So one of the persons is 2. Now uh, 4, 4 can be reached by 2, 4 can be reached by 3. 3 cannot be reached by anyone. So 3 is not possible. Then 5 can be reached by 1. 5 can be reached by 3 also. 3 can be reached by both these two. 2 cannot be reached by anyone. 8 can be reached by 2, 3 and 5. So no person in this row. Then 7. 7 can be reached by 3. It cannot be reached by others. So 7 is one such person. 7 can be reached by 3 like this. Okay. Now 8, 8 can be reached by multiple people, 5, 7, okay, we, it was given in the example also. 4 can be reached by 3, so that is the only individual who can reach 4. 6 can be reached by 2, 4, 5 multiple people, 5 can be reached by only 2, so that is the only person who can reach 5. Then we have the next row, 3, 3 can be reached by 1. Okay, then we have uh, only one person reaching 3. So, 3 can be reached by 1. And then we have uh, 5 being reached by 4 and 1 also. 2 can be reached by 1. So, that is the only person who can reach 2. 
So two is another person. Then we have seven. Seven can be reached by one, six. Six can be reached by five and three. Three can be reached by only one. Okay, so this person can be reached by only one. Now we will count. So one, four, six and seven. So there are seven people who can be reached by just one individual. Next question, which of the following is true for any individual at a platform of height 1 meter in this layout? So we discussed that if a person is at 1 meter, no one can reach them because no one can go down, right? So they cannot be reached by anyone. So this was a very simple question. Next question, we can find two individuals who cannot be reached by anyone in which of these? So we will go option by option. So last row, let us check if we can see anyone who cannot be reached by anyone. So anyone means that the person should be at a high height, okay, or low low height, right? So we can see one cannot be reached by anyone, and all others can be reached by some person or the other. So last row is not the answer. Fourth row, if we see one cannot be reached by anyone, okay, and uh, uh, we have we have to find two individuals cannot be reached by anyone. Two can be reached, three can be reached. 5 and 9 can be reached. So that is also not correct. Fourth column, we have 1. Then we 4 can be reached by people. 2 cannot be reached by anyone. Right. So these are the two people we can find. So in the fourth column, there are two people who cannot be reached by anyone. So this is our answer. Which of the following statements is true about this layout? Okay. Now, uh, we will do this by elimination. It says each row has an individual who can be reached by five or more individuals. Okay. Five or more, more individuals means the person should be at a significant height. Let us look at the first, uh, first row itself because first row shows low values mostly. Six can be reached by only two people. Right. One cannot be reached by anyone. Okay. And two cannot, two can be reached by only one person. Then 4 can be reached by 2 people, 3 and this, 3 cannot be reached by anyone. So we see that it is false in the first row itself. So that is not our answer. Each row has an individual who cannot be reached by anyone. Okay. Uh, cannot be reached by anyone. Let us see that if uh, each row has it. So we will check for the third row because it has people at higher levels. So 7 can be reached, right? 8 can be reached, 4 can be reached. 6 can be reached, 5 can also be reached. So this is also false. Okay. Each row has at least two individuals who can be reached by an equal number of individuals. Now, if you have to count equal number of individuals, that is a big thing to count because suppose the number of individuals can be 1, 1, can be 2, 2, can be 3, 3, etc. Okay. So it is better to skip this option and see it. If this option is true, that will be our answer. If this option is false, then this should be our answer. So we should always eliminate counting uh, options in such cases wherein we can find an easier option. So these were the easier options. We could easily eliminate them. Now the last one says all individuals at a height of 9 meter can be reached by at least 5 individuals. So this is 9. This is another 9. This is another 9. Okay. So they have to be reached by at least 5 individuals, which does not seem to be true because we have uh, five, 2 can reach here, 5 can reach here. Okay, uh, then uh, 8 can also reach here and 3 can reach here, 6 can also reach here. So 5 individuals for this case, but let us check for others. So 8 can reach here, 7 can reach here, 3 can reach here, 5 can reach here, 1 cannot reach here. Okay, so we have just 4 in this case. So it is false. Okay, it has to be each of them should be reached by at least 5 individuals, which is not true in this scenario. So we have uh, option C should be the right one. Please do let me know in the comments that which are the two individuals in each row that have an equal number of individuals and what is that equal number. However, in the examination, one must not count such things and instead eliminate easy options. You should eliminate easy options. And if, uh, let us say one of the options is an answer, one of the easy options is an answer, that would be your answer. This would have got eliminated in that case. Otherwise, if you are able to eliminate the other easy options, this automatically turns out to be the answer. 
So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.